My name is Ryan Collins, and I grew up right down the beach. I just want to say a few words. So, first off, thank you, members of the NDCAP, for the work you are doing, and thank you as well to the whole tech representatives for being here today. And also, thank you to all the members of the public who have chosen to attend tonight. And I appreciate this opportunity to say a few words, and I promise it will be less than three minutes. We tend to emphasize the bad news, and unfortunately there's a lot of it, but there is some good news as well, and I just want to cover some of that. When my father and my uncles were growing up on the shores of Manomet, just a couple miles south of the Pilgrim plant, they played witness to the construction of the power plant and watched as the lush green coastline, which my father described as paradise, was turned into an industrial no man's land. Today, thanks to Holtec, we have begun dismantling this eyesore and hopefully cleaning up the mess which my generation has inherited and that future generations to come will also inherit. I am most thankful that the decommissioning of this plant has begun and I also appreciate Holtec's expertise in ensuring this project is done in a responsible manner. Tonight I have heard many intelligent statements being made about what is legal and what is not legal. I have also heard many intelligent statements being made about nuclear science, pollutants, and chemistry. Nevertheless, there is something here tonight in this room that is more important than the law. There is something here tonight in this room that is more important than the science. The people here tonight in this room, along with the tens of thousands of residents of Plymouth and Cape Cod, and the millions of tourists and visitors who visit this area each year, have made it clear that we would prefer for this water to not be released into our beloved Cape Cod Bay. The wishes of people, the real human beings who live here in the shadow of the nuclear plant, in my personal opinion, ought to supersede the law and the science, as well as the permits. This past Christmas day, my father-in-law, Steve Blacker, who was like a second dad to me, passed away unexpectedly. I was with Steve when he died. And since that experience, I've been thinking more about the legacy we leave behind when we die. My question to you, David, John, and your CEO, Krishna, and the rest of Holtec is this. Will your legacy as individuals and as a company be one in which you are remembered by us and the future generations to come as the company who ignored our simple request? Or will you, David, John, and Krishna, and the rest of Holtec, leave behind a legacy in which you are remembered by us and the future generations of Plymouth and Cape Cod as a company that listened and acquiesced to our collective wish and desire that you take this water elsewhere. The people of Plymouth and Cape Cod have made it clear to you that we do not want the water discharged into Cape Cod Bay. My hope in speaking to you tonight is that when you are lying in bed, you will remember my words and consider what I have said. After all, and I feel this is important for all of us to remember, on the day they lay your body down to bury you, there will be no pockets in the pants that you are wearing. You can't take your money with you. All you can do is leave behind your legacy. Thank you. Wow.